Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. We're taking a look at some more really awesome tweaks you can get from Cydia. I do want to mention though before I get into this that I will be doing a best jailbreak setup video right after this one which is basically going to show you guys how I have everything set up on my device. So if I don't cover a tweak or something in this video that you have questions on, be sure to check out the best jailbreak setup video that I'm going to do for this setup. I will leave the video link for it down in the description. That's going to be a longer video. And like I said, I'll basically go through everything, uh, every tweak that I have and how it's all set up to look the way it does. Uh, because in this video, I'm just going to briefly mention some tweaks like I normally do for the best tweaks of the week. But uh, just keep that in mind. If you guys want to find out more about the tweaks you see, check out the video link. It's in the description. Uh, but anyways, to kick this off, we got Muse 3. This is a fairly new theme, and it's a really awesome looking theme in my opinion. Uh, so you can see all of the different icons that are themed here on my springboard. Uh, Tweetbot, Evernote, Clear, um, you know, some of the stock icons, Safari, Music, you got Cydia there. Uh, you can swipe over to the next page, Facebook, Google+, uh, Vine, um, Alien, Blue, Twitch, Snapchat, Skype. Uh, I do have some more of the stock Apple applications here, so you can see what the themes look like for those as well. A very, very cool looking theme in my opinion. Uh, again, it's called Muse 3. The next tweak I got for you guys is extremely simple, and it basically just makes all of the icons in your settings circle icons. Uh, so it's called circle icons. So we can go into the uh, settings here for circle icons. As you can see, all it gives you the ability to do is to change the shape from the default rounded corners look to circle icons. Uh, it's a super simple tweak, but I really like the way that it looks, uh, you know, in settings having circle icons rather than, you know, the kind of app shape icons just because it, it's more uniform in my opinion, especially when it comes to like tweaks. Because uh, tweaks can have all different kind of shapes for their icons. And I like keeping it very uniform. Just all circles. Again that tweak is called Circle Icons. The next tweak I got for you guys is called Nude Keys. So if we go into the Messages app here. And I bring up my keyboard. Uh, basically what Nude Keys does. Is it strips the kind of button overlay that is on your keyboard. And makes it basically just completely flat looking with no buttons. Uh, it also gives you the ability to change the colors of your keyboard. As you can see, mine is kind of like a uh, dark gray to black gradient. Uh, you can basically change it to any colors you want. Uh, I mainly like it for the simple look, the nude key part, stripping away those button overlays. I think it's just a really cool tweak and it allows you to make your keyboard look really awesome. Again, that one's called Nude Keys. But while we're in the Messages app, that brings me to the next tweak, and that's Messages Customizer. Uh, as you can see, my messages is pretty much fully custom. The chat bubbles are completely different. The background is a black. The uh, um, the UI bars are in dark mode basically or night mode. Uh, so it looks really, really good in my opinion. I love using my uh, messages when it's customized like this, especially at night. It's so much easier on my eyes. And I just like, you know, having the ability to change the colors of anything within messages to any color I like. Again, that's called messages customizer. Next up, we have a badge-o-miser. So I'm sure you guys can tell by the email application on my uh, springboard here that the badge is fully custom. It's actually a pretty cool look, uh, what I came up with for this setup. Uh, so you can see what the, you know, the badge looks like there with my 12,000 emails. And then if we go to, you know, some of the stock uh, Apple applications, you can see what the badges look like there. Uh, they're basically color matched to the app icon. I also have a kind of shadow behind them, and then the text is kind of like a dark gray, almost black, for the actual numbers within the badge. Uh, there's a ton of stuff you can customize with Badgeomizer. Uh, you can customize the shape, the size, the color, the glow, the shadow, basically everything. Another thing that's cool about it is if I put my icons in the wiggle mode, you can customize the close box, basically, the close X for each application. You can fully customize uh, those as well as you can see I have them color matched and they also do have that kind of shadow look uh, So a lot of customization that you can do with Badgeomizer. The next tweak I got for you guys is called classic folders This is also a fairly new tweak and it's definitely up there for my favorites just because I love the animation and the style of folders with classic folders I think that Apple should make their folder system identical to classic folders. I think it looks so much better than you know how the folder system is normally set up with the three by three kind of box in the middle of the screen wasting a whole lot of space i think that this 
looks better. I also think it's more functional. You can fit more uh, applications per page with it. And I think the animation with it looks really cool as well. There's also st uh, other stuff you can customize with classic folders, but this is just the way I like to have it set up. Uh, so definitely a very, very cool tweak to customize your folder system on your device. Again, that's called classic folders. The next tweak I got for you guys is called preference tag three. So if we jump into the settings application, basically what this tweak allows you to do is to fully customize your settings application. Um, that's how I have a folder at the top here or a section that's called Cydia. And if I go into that section, as you guys can see, it has all of my tweaks in it. Uh, and that's basically what preference tag three allows you to do. As you can see, you swipe over from the side, you can see hidden sections, you can see, uh, you can set up a passcode, you can also have tags, uh, your folders, you can change positions, you can have disabled sections, and then you have info at the bottom there as well. So the way it works, and I'm not going to try and spend too much time on this because it is a very in-depth tweak. Uh, I have two tweaks here that I have not put into the Cydia folder in my settings. Basically, if I swipe along the tweak, as you can see, it has its own side menu, which allows me to do a whole bunch of stuff. I can disable it. I can set a passcode up for it. So you need a passcode to enter that section of the settings. Uh, tag, folder, hide remove and position so I can adjust everything you guys see here. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw it into the Cydia folder. So it basically just move that and now it will be found in the Cydia section at the top of my settings. So that's basically how it works. Every time you install a new tweak, you will have to put it into the section you want, which is kind of a hassle, but I really don't mind it just because I'm not going through that many tweaks on a daily basis where it's just that big of a headache. I just like keeping things organized. So we'll go ahead and throw that into the Cydia folder as well. And then I do have another section for all of my applications, which is right here. It's above iCloud. As you can see, it says apps. These are all of my app store applications. I keep them in their own section as well. So the eight ball pool, we'll go ahead and throw that into the applications folder, just like so. Very cool. And like I said, you can also passcode protect stuff and use tags and a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm not going to cover on video just because it is a very in-depth tweak, but a very cool tweak that allows you to pretty much fully customize your settings application. Uh, again, that is called a preference tag three. Now the last tweak I got for you guys, I've been covering it quite a bit lately, but it's definitely an awesome tweak and I wanted it to be in a best tweaks of the week video and it is lock plus. So if we go to my lock screen, as you guys can probably tell, I have a custom date and time, and that's due to lock plus. Uh, this is a very in-depth tweak as well. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this. Uh, basically, you download themes. You can view them right from your lock screen. Let's say we want the top left theme. Just click on it, and it will download it. And as you guys will see, my lock screen will change to that theme. Now, it didn't change the wallpaper because in the settings, I have it set up to not change my wallpaper. Uh, just because I like kind of customizing it myself. I don't want to use other people's wallpapers, but that's how I have it set up. And then once you've downloaded a bunch of themes, you can just go to your, your themes. These are all the ones I have downloaded. And let's say we want to switch to this clock. Just swipe up on it and boom, it changes. Go ahead and go back into the themes. Let's say we want to use this one. Just swipe up on it and boom, we change it. Uh, another cool thing about Lock Plus is you can actually tap and hold on it. And you can actually move this stuff around on your lock screen. So let's say we wanted it at the bottom part of our lock screen. Just move it down there. It's kind of in a wiggle mode. Click the home button and that's where it's going to stay. So there's a lot of customization that you can do with lock plus. There's also the ability to have animated weather, which looks really cool in my opinion. I'm not going to show that on video here uh, just because I don't want to have to respring my device and whatnot. But lock plus, in my opinion, is just one of the best ways you can customize your lock screen. And I do have a complete video on how to get the source to get Lock Plus. Uh, I will leave the video link for Lock Plus in the description. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. So that's my lineup of best tweaks of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. Also, like I mentioned, uh, if there's any other tweaks you've seen on my device that you're wondering about, I will be doing a best jailbreak setup video after this where I go through and show every tweak I have and how I have everything set up on my device. Uh, so be sure to check out that video. The link for that is in the description as well. Uh, but anyways, if you guys want to see more tweak videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.